We've been receiving a lot of questions recently about bagworms. The bagworm, Theradopteryx ephemeriformis, is a moth and its larvae spins these cocoons out of silk and foliage. And you can see here uh, on the cedar, it's made a little cocoon um, and you can see the dried up needles of the cedar. This is a real typical habit where the cocoon hangs off the ends of the branches. Now when you see the cocoons, you can also see areas where there's foliage missing. And this is evidence of the feeding. And you can see here how much of the foliage is missing as compared to this branch next to it that hasn't been fed upon. Now the life cycle of the bagworm is rather interesting. Right now inside of here is a larvae. And the larvae, as I mentioned, is feeding on the foliage. In the fall, it'll pupate into an adult and the male moths will leave the bag and they'll search out a female. The females don't fly, instead they stay in their bag waiting for a mate to arrive. And once they've mated, the female will lay eggs inside that bag and then she'll drop to the ground and die. Meanwhile, those eggs are still inside of the little bag and they'll remain there throughout the winter until the springtime when they hatch and begin the cycle all over again. So a very easy way to remove bagworms and manage them is to just simply pull the bags off the tree. And you're going to squeeze them and destroy them and get them out of your landscape. You don't want to put an uncrushed bag into your compost pile because those eggs will still be viable and they'll hatch and we'll have a, a reinfestation the following spring. So you want to make sure to destroy them and get them out of the landscape. Now sometimes you have a very large tree or a really heavy infestation and when we have a very very heavy infestation we could see um, some plants will suffer immensely um, I've even seen plants die from extreme infestations uh, the evergreens tend to be the most susceptible um, particularly junipers uh, cedars spruces and pines uh, but we also see bagworms infest uh, deciduous plants as well and in years like this when we have a really heavy infestation we'll see them on some pretty unusual plants. Now if you have a really large tree like this or an extreme infestation you might want to turn to a certified arborist for some help uh, with treatment and other options. If you don't want to do uh, control simply by hand removal, there's some chemicals that we could try. This year we've looked at some microbial insecticides in our vegetable garden, and there's similar products that work in the landscape. You can learn more about bagworms and specific chemical control options in OSU fact sheet EPP 7306, Ornamental and Lawn Pest Control for Homeowners. <laughs>